Hello everyone, I am Interact, this is Slay the Spire, let's do a daily, today is June 12th, 2018, we got the Ironclad, we got Shiny. Start Starting deck is replaced with one of every rare card, that's interesting, because the Ironclad has some rare cards that aren't really that great. Terminal, whenever you enter a new room, lose one max HP, start with five plated armor, cool. Normal enemies drop relics instead of cards, alright, so it's going to be difficult to uh, actually get a functioning deck. Yeah, you got stuff like Juggernaut, and then like, <laughs> almost no way to gain block except for Impervious. I guess Fiendfire and, where is it? No, the Dark Embrace is just draw a card. Well, that's going to be interesting. Alright, Paths, Elites, got one, one, two, only two Elites, huh? This way gets us, well actually we miss an elite if we do that, but we could get a really late shop which would be nice. So I think I see the route I'm going to take, and we're going to hope that this goes well. I mean emulate is going to hopefully carry us quite a ways. We got Omamori, alright cool. Um, yeesh, I guess we just... Do we just play out, like, I think we just, because we have five plated armor, so he's not going to hit us. So we just play out demon form and gain some, yeah, gain some strength, I guess. We probably want to try and get as many feeds off as possible. So I think that we can just probably offering and hope to draw feed. Hey, we got it. All right, so I think feed is going to be our, our route to victory. Probably. Um. Jeez. I guess, yeah, we just nuke him and play. I don't know, exhaust limit break out of our deck? Thin the deck? I, I don't really know. Alright. Mm hmm. Definitely want an offering. I don't know what I'm offering. For. Okay. Fiend Fire definitely kills him, right? Alright, so Fiendfire and Immolate, Unceasing Top, are basically going to be our win conditions. Remove a card. Sure. Um, what do I want to remove here? What do I think is the worst card in the deck? That's a tough call. It, it might just be Juggernaut. Although Juggernaut is like, at the end of your turn, deal 3 damage to a random enemy, but is that that's not good, is it? Barricade also seems awful. I think Barricade's just terrible, but yeah, maybe not. Because, we, well, we don't have any block, we have Impervious. I think we get rid of Juggernaut. I think Juggernaut's the worst card, hands down, in the deck so far. Okay, so... 7, 12, 21, 28. Sheesh. Um, I guess we might as well play out Brutality, and then I think we're just going to gamble away the rest of our hand and hope to draw something else. Okay, so we can double tap Bludgeon. Oh, wait, if we double tap Immolate... That does enough damage, okay. I knew there was a way out, I just wasn't sure what it was. Question card is extremely useless because we don't ever get any of that. Do we upgrade feed or do we upgrade like emulate because it's our main damage dealer? So what do we have that actually deals damage? We have Fiendfire, Bludgeon, Feed, and Immolate. And I and well and Reaper. I think Immolate's our best damage dealer, so we're going to upgrade that. And maybe it's double tap. Normality, I don't actually think is going to be an issue if we did get it. Okay, well, we didn't get it, so whatever. Um, Double tap Reaper. I mean, it does 8 damage to all of them. Doesn't seem like the worst thing in the world. 
We miss out on some healing, possibly, but at least we deal some damage to all of them. And now Emily doesn't get fully get a kill, but it gets close. Okay, offering is obvious. Are you kidding me? Immolate's the actual bottom card. That's absurd. So we get Impervious... And then Bludgeon something. I think that's, that's our plan here. Impervious and then just Bludgeon that guy. And then next turn we hopefully draw a double tap and Immolate. A Lamau. The boy has got the plan. Molten egg. Alright, cool. Um Honestly we kinda need some block. So Armaments doesn't seem awful. Since we have no block right now. Mercury hourglass is fine. I'll take it. Hmm. This is a very bad starting end. I mean we can Armaments the feed and then exhume the feed. Because that does some amount of damage at least this turn. It's not going to kill him, but it it also keeps us alive. Um, get five damage. Hmm. I think we just impervious this turn. I don't know. This this deck is really the the shiny deck for this character is super weird. Thankfully, it has bludgeon, paper frog. If only I had some way to actually make them vulnerable. All right, I need you to give me something really good here. Uh, yeah, whirlwind just seems really good. And then card removal maybe. To remove what? What's what's our weakest link here? Dark Embrace? Prob- well, maybe it's Dark Embrace. Maybe it's just Barricade. Because Barricade's just doing nothing for us right now, right? Alright, let's remove Barricade. Alright. Upgrade. Upgrading Armaments seems good, but... Drawing two extra cards from offering is also really nice. I don't remember what the- this is just more damage, this is more damage, this doesn't exhaust, this is innate. Could be worth looking into. This is more damage, this is a reduction, this is more damage, this makes it free. I think it's armaments just to upgrade, because our upgrading armaments in theory upgrades the rest of our deck. <clears throat> okay, um, this seems pretty simple. I think you just, yeah. You double tap emulate. And then. Whirlwind or Reaper? I think I'm just gonna Whirlwind for extra damage. Because this is gonna be an absolute race against time. Uh, we could Impervious, but I think we're just gonna. Let's Brutality for the extra draw and then just dunk him with that. The extra draw could mean the difference between drawing bludgeon and not drawing bludgeon. It's the difference between drawing this and not drawing this, but we get to feed him, so that's fine. Bird faced urn. A second bludgeon. Hmm. An upgraded bludgeon as well. Hmm. I don't actually know that we care about block if we're killing everything really quickly, right? So let's just get a second bludgeon. The boss fight's really going to be the, the make-or-break point in this. I think we can safely double-tap Reaper. And then probably just feed one of these guys, right? Feed the guy that's hitting the hardest. We might as well play out Berserk and Brutality to heal a little bit. We get Exhume. We did not get Exhume, so we're just gonna kill him with Warwind. I was gonna Exhume Feed, but... What is a Blood Potion? You go for 10% of your max HP. That's really good. 
When did they add that? Upgrade bludgeon is 10 more damage. Upgrade double tap? We'd need more energy for that, probably. Just upgrade offering. Because offering's dope. Hmm. He's doing nothing, so I really feel like demon form is the right call. Well, let's see what offering draws us. Ooh. We have an upgraded demon form now. Might as well play out Berserk. And we might as well hit him with a feed. Just to kind of get it out of the deck. I really wish we could double tap this bludgeon, but, uh... You know. Oh well. I don't think we're going to be able to perfect him because we don't really have ways to block this damage. Although now that I'm saying that, we have Imperious Exhum, which gives us two chances to block it fully. I think we just limit break and... Is it worth Imperviousing here? Because next turn we're going to take a lot of damage. I'm not sure it really matters what we do here. Like, we might as well just whirlwind for a bunch of damage. We're not gonna get the perfect, because we have, like, no defensive capabilities. So, yeah, I might as well just... Hey, I don't think there's a way to perfect this, since this character has no rare defensive cards, really, to speak of. I would love to limit break. Actually, if I limit break fiend fire, I believe yeah, that's 100% lethal, right? Yeah, okay. <laughs> mm, 36 strength singing bowl. Not really going to come in handy. Take like a second feed. Wow. Wowzers. Um, I mean black star? Sure. The champion, that's going to be a big decider right there. We want to shop. Let's counter our elites though. We could get two if we went on that path. We could also get two if we went up this path. We're skipping a shop if we go up that path? Hmm. I think we might actually just want to check both of these shops. Just to kind of... Wait, we'd skip all the elites if we went that way. I think we're gonna go... Well, we miss a bonfire. But I don't actually think bonfires are worth much. Because we don't really need to be upgrading our cards, do we? Nah, I, eh, I might as well. I have, I still have burning blood. Just to guarantee the death. Shuriken. Seems fine to me. Sure. Happy flower. Why not? Pantograph. Not terrible. Hmm. Remove a card? Could remove Dark Embrace. Although, it does technically heal us a little bit with Bird Face Turn. Hmm. I don't think there's anything in there worth picking up. I could be completely wrong. Let's see what we can get here. The armaments. I mean, I don't. It doesn't matter because we just double tap emulate. Yeah, double tap emulate is basically just our way of winning. If we could get the book that doubles your two call Necronomic Ah. That actually works pretty well with Birdface Turn. I was kinda hoping for This kinda works actually. We play that, we play out brutality. So we gain three block every time we exhaust a card. He's hitting for twelve, we have five. 369. 
14. Okay. Get rid of double tap, which sucks, but what are you going to do? Uh, save that for later. To probably get back double tap. Okay. What you got for me? Hmm. Whirlwind is not enough. Oh, I have a full hand. What an idiot. What an idiot I am. Is there any way we can perfect this? We'd have to exhaust some cards somehow. Oh, like, impervious actually. Yeah, so we just impervious. And then... Bludgeon does more damage than... Like, Immolate Reaper, right? I don't think it does, but I'll just do it anyways. Then we'll, uh... Actually save feeds, because they can become block with the Feel No Pain that we got. Hmm... Getting this much block is going to be interesting. That's 3, 6, 11. It's not enough. I'm not sure we can actually get enough. I don't think we can get the perfect here. Unless we drew into... No, we wouldn't have anything to draw into. So we might as well just Reaper. Eh, lose the perfect. Darn. It's kind of hoping we wouldn't have to. So we can exhume for offering. Play offering. What do we got here? Bludgeon feed? That's not enough. We create a copy of Emulate, we can't cast that enough. What do we want to do here? Maybe just bludgeon him and accept the damage? I feel like that's pretty much our only option, really. I mean, we can, we can do this for a little bit more block. We've already lost the perfect, so taking, you know, like two damage doesn't really matter. Although that may have been one damage. Okay, Emulate so that Feed gets the kill. Perfect. Bottled Flame. An attack always starts in your opening. I mean, Immolate, obviously. Uh, Ghostly Armor gives us a way to get block. And let's see what the shop has for us. Not much, man. Not much. Start of each combat as a random colorless card to your hand. E Blue Candle would help us if we got a lot of curses, but I'm not really getting very many curses. I can't. Toolbox does not seem very much worth it. I'll take that, because it's pretty good. Remove a card? I still think Dark Embrace we're just like never going to use. So I'll get rid of it. Then we want more combat because we want more relics. Corruption skills cost zero whenever you play them. Yeah, okay. So start with that, then play offering. I think I can just, okay, maybe corruption will actually help me out here. Will it? So I corruption, so now impervious is free. But I think I can just double tap immolate. And then exhume offering to get more energy. I'm trying to get a feed kill. So if I just... Oh. I forgot that my thing was getting played twice. Whoops! Brown scales, Nito. Regal pillow, Nito. 
Gain two artifact? Make that free? I think making that free actually, like, is a probably going to help because we're a little tight on energy right now. Having got no energy. From the uh, the first boss fight, Zibut, Sneko. Okay, well, I mean, a free demon form is to sign me up. I'm just gonna bludgeon and use this ghost armor so it stays in our deck. Now we get confused. So this breaks even. Jeez, I mean. Yeah, draw me some more cards, I guess. Free bludgeon is nice. Good exhume offering, but it still would cost two. That would do 30, which would leave him at just enough to not be dead. Shoot. Well, actually, hold on. If I double my strength, then that kills him. Turnip, you can no longer become frail. I'm running out of room here, guys. I'm running out of room, boys. Yeah, I think this double tap emulate thing is uh, pretty good. What you got for me? Do I have enough feeds to kill him? I do not. If I Reaper, is that enough? That's 26 damage. Mm. Although if I upgrade all of them, that is exactly 29. Will give me 7 billion IQ potion belt. Cool. Upgrade uh, our other feed. This panacea. Bludgeon? I think I'm gonna upgrade double tap. Just in case. Alright, this is gonna be the difficult part. Metallicize is nice. I appreciate that. Upgrade everything. Play that. Sure. We don't get to play our emulate. Oh shucks. Whatever will I do? Pretty good defensive turn for turn one. I would really like to perfect this guy. But, uh, it looks like it's not gonna happen. Unless I exhume... Okay, well, I mean... If I exhume Offering... Uh, I'm actually gonna overdraw, aren't I? So let's play out some powers first. So now we have seven cards in our hands. This is gonna still whiff on a few draws. Let's get a feed out of here. And then let's do this. Still gonna overdraw. That's okay. We can play Brutality. And then Impervious and maybe Demon Form to set up for the long game or just bludgeon him? That's Demon Form to set up for the long game. He should just start... Where is his debuffs? I thought he was supposed to start debuffing at this point. What a jerk. I mean, I can gain enough block now, so that's nice. It's just Reaper to get that kind of out of the deck. Alright. So, I mean, he's just debuffing. So just bludgeon him. Seems logical enough to me. Okay, he's buffing himself. Shoot, I don't want to lose Ghostly Armor. If I drink this, and drink this, and then Limit Break... Ah. My other feed is gone, isn't it? Alright, whatever. We're, we're gonna lose feed. That's fine. We at least have a bunch of strength. He's hitting for 21. Crap.
What does double tapping whirlwind even do? We're gonna take damage. We've already lost our perfect. I hate that. Whatever, just slam him. Oh, well, yay. We gained a little bit more block because of Ornamental Fan. Go us. Still lost the perfect. Alright, I'm fine with Ghostly Armor going away now. This is more damage than Bludgeon. Yeah, deals 100 instead of whatever, 40 something. Do it again. Yeah, I mean, it's quite possible. Mostly because, you know, you're dead. I hate the fact that we lost our perfect, but, you know, what are you gonna do, right? Um, another exhume actually doesn't sound awful. And I'm definitely okay with Philosopher's Stone. Oh, the relic list just gets smaller and smaller, I guess. Who's our boss? Bird Boy? Alright, that's fine. One... Two... Alright. One, two, buckle my shoe. Might as well play it twice. I don't even think we're gonna... Oh, we have unceasing top. Whoops. I just... I'm not gonna be able to feed him, so just bludgeon him. Bag of marbles. Oh god. Okay, so this is a new thing that I haven't seen before. Upgrade all cards so you can no longer heal. Gain 9,000 er, 9, gold. Uh, let's fight a boss from Act 1. Dark Embrace. Sure. I mean, look at how much damage we already did to him. Seems okay to me. He's at half health. Is this enough to kill him? No. Deal 8 damage for each card exhausted. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So that's, uh, 72. Hmm. If we were to get back Offering, it's possible- no, we, how much damage is he doing? More than we can block with that. Although if we Ghostly Armor... Exhume Offering... Oh, we drew Impervious. Play that out. I think that's enough. I am believing that that is enough. So... Right, that should be enough, yeah? Yeah, two, two, oh, two extra because of the plated armor. Okay, forgot about plated armor. Dude, just ghostly offering. Ghostly armor and then oh, ghostly offering. Ghostly armor and then offering and then... Um... I'm actually fine with most of these getting exhausted, so. Because it kills them, also. Sharon's Ashes, that could be okay, actually. Hmm. I might as well take power through. Um. Yeah. Evolve doesn't seem terrible. Geary is nice. I, wow, I wish I could buy that. How many... Do I have another... I have another shop coming up, so I'll just save my money for now. Save it for now. Okay, so they're all weakened, which is actually super nice, because that makes this even more lethal. When did we pick that? Oh, we just picked that up. Bag of prep. Even... Even better. Uh, absolutely, I'll fight for a relic. Give me my double tap. I did not get a double tap.
I did that mostly just for the Charms, Ashes, and the block. I mean, it works both for both, you know? Is there any way I can kill him with feed? Yes, if I Reaper... Alright, double tap Reaper. And then feed. Beautiful. No! Charn's Ashes killed him instead of the feed, son of a bitch! Do I really want a Flame Barrier? I'll take two max HP, because the... Terminal is kind of screwing me over at the moment. We're definitely lifting. 100% getting swole. We gotta be swole as heck. Start with fire breathing. Play this out. Thank you, Sharn's Ashes. Okay, so we have our double tap. We double tap. Bludgeon. Into feed. Beautiful. Frozen Egg, Bottled Lightning. Uh, let's always start with Double Tap in our opening hand. Thank you. Thunderclap seems okay. We could actually use the Vulnerable. Alright, what do you got? Not much, really. I think this is pretty much our last opportunity to spend gold unless we want to... Unless we get something in there, but I don't think we will, so... Let's look at removal. What are we not... Feeling. I mean, I don't think Berserk is ever going to do anything other than heal us for two with Birdface turn. So let's get rid of that. And we've already got uh, End of Caridian, so. Red Skull. Eh, well, you know. Oops. Okay, double tap. Immolate. Easy enough. Wow. What a great time for you to show up. I'd rather take the HP. Uh, oh, whoa, oh, 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 whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh, oh. whoa, whoa there, buddy. Probably should have offeringed first. Oh well. Not sure it matters. Um, so we can't double tap. We can double tap. We can double tap Immolate. But then we don't have enough to do anything. Well, we, if we bludgeon, we don't have enough to do an Immolate as well. Just double tap. Immolate does slightly more damage. And opens us up to like. Fiend firing him. I actually don't know how the second one. I don't think it does zero damage. It does zero damage. But at least he's at 41 HP now, so that's nice. Um, do I have an upgraded feed in here? I do. So if we Reaper, feed, exhume the upgraded feed, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Pen nib could come in handy. Yeah, give me one colorless card. Trip's pretty good. I want another fire. What, what would I upgrade? What would I upgrade? It's a good question. Lose all gold? Yeah, absolutely. Because uh, we have... Somewhere in here, we have uh, the belt thing that makes it so... There we go. Oh, never mind. It's the other way around. Whoops. Doesn't matter. Still works. Okay, sure. Juggernaut. Goodness gracious. Uh, we can play armaments to gain a little bit of block so that this... Uh, actually, the spikes are still going to hurt us. Whatever. Oh, no, they're not, because he dies on the first one. Anchor. Nice. Lift it up again, boys. Oh, I could have lifted if I had gone here. Darn it. Oh, well. 
Okay. Yeah, he's gonna gain some some life. That's fine. We can play immolate. I, we might be able to perfect this guy. I th I think we can. I th I'm believing in myself to be able to perfect this guy. So don't let me down. Yeesh. Come on. Come on. Just fiend fire them away. Yeah. Fiend fire away the, the wounds, do a little bit extra damage with the ashes. Yeah, I'll definitely play that. Ooh. Thank you on Ceasing Top. I think at this point, honestly, I'm going to... Armaments just upgrade everything in my hand and get this demon form out of here. We don't have any zeros that we want. We might want to get Panacea back. And in fact, that does actually benefit us a little bit and do six extra damage for whatever six extra damage is worth. This is a big damage dealer right here. Hmm. Let's weaken him. He's already weakened. I mean, we might as well keep the weekend going, right? I don't think we're gonna have, we're definitely not gonna have enough block. Oh well. Eh, it was good while the dream lasted. Didn't last very long though. Uh, double tap. Reaper? Which will actually kill him and give us Pendiv, which means it's possible we can get the kill on the first go around. By doing something like that, yeah. So, okay, so we, we double tap first, then we double tap this bludgeon. Look at all that damage, that's still not enough. What was I thinking? Uh, Thunderclap is only... Sorry, we use a feed. Oh, it gets double cast. Thunderclap might have actually been the right call there. Shoot. Whatever. I right, red skull triggers now. Not that, not that it matters. Drink all the potions. Oh well, I mean, that was still a pretty good daily. Let's see what our score is. Probably not very good. Wow, 1,000. That's way better than I thought it was going to be. Let me see what I got that made it so good. I did get one perfect on a boss. I got two perfects on elites. So that's 100 points right there. Oh, overkill's nice. A 25 plus relics, everyone got that. I killed maybe more... Uh, more enemies than some people. Light speed. Yeah, sure. I mean, that's a pretty decent score. I mean, it's not, you know, 3,000. 2,000th? I mean, you know, sure, whatever. That's fine. It's pretty late into the into the daily. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, feel free to leave a like, comment, subscribe, whatever, blah, blah, blah. I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.